Hello guys, hope you are feeling okay. You are watching Microsoft Office Learning. This is platform for Microsoft Office Learning. So today I'm going to show you the two formulas. The one is product formula and second one is some product formula. These two formula are very easy to use. So without wasting any time, let's start writing formula. The first formula is product formula. I created this sample data for this formula. This data is about the employee information, employee wages information. The wage per day, the number of days, months and number of years. So what I need to do, I need to calculate the employee wages for 5 years. So what I'm going to do, I need to multiply the wage per day with number of days in month. Then I'll get the wage for the month. Then if I calculate the number of month in year and multiply with this result, then I'll get the wage for one year. Again, if I multiply with the number of years, which is five, then I'll calculate the wage for five years for different employees. So what I need to do, I need to multiply each cell in each row. I need to multiply each of cells with each other and get the result. So start writing the formula is equal to product PRO. You can see on second number there is a product formula if I press tab. So it will auto pick the formula. The first thing is the cell reference of very first cell in row which is a G10. Then if I drag the cursor and bring it to the last cell so it will auto pick the cell reference of the last cell and the last thing is close bracket so what I'll do the product formula start of bracket first cell reference and colon sign and the last cell reference if I press enter so what this formula will do this formula will multiply this cell with this cell and then multiply with this cell and again multiply with this cell and all of this multiplication will give me the result in form of 158,400 that is the total wage for five years for employee A because it multiply all of the cells in that row if I want to copy this formula what I'll do I'll simply drag this formula from the bottom so it will copy the formula for all the employees so this is how this formula works you can say this is in one form of multiplication function in simple multiplication function we need to multiply each of cells we need to give the reference of each cell to make a multiplication with each other whereas in this formula we just give the first cell reference colon sign and the last cell reference so it will auto pick all the cells and multiply with each other so we are done with this formula I wrote down the formula here which start with is equal to product start of bracket G10 which is the first cell reference colon sign and the J10 that is the last cell reference so this is a very simple formula you can say it's an advanced form of multiplication function so let's move on to the next formula which is the sum product formula here I created a sale data for the sum product formula these are the different products these are the different months January to April and these are the sales figure for these data for the, these months so some product will work if I want to get the total of the each of the row for each of the row for the each of the product so I will use the sum product formula let's start writing the sum product formula we start with is equal to SUM sorry SUM the product on number 4 if I press tab it will pick this formula so what I will do I will give the first cell reference in first row and then if I drag the cursor till the end it will auto pick the last cell reference then close bracket and press enter so what it will do it will add up all these cells in row and give me the total if I want to copy this formula for the rest of the rows what I will do I will simply drag this formula by double click on it 
if I press double click it will copy the formula for the rest of the cells so this formula is giving me the total in each of the row it means 290,000 mean product A sales for the January to April month is 290,000 product B sales is this C sale is this and the product D sale is 434,180 and I will say this is an alternate to the sum function as well sum function will also provide you the same figure these formula are used the sum function and the sum product alternate to each other if you apply the sum function here it will also give the same result it will also give the total but these formulas are used alternate to each other uh, so this is all about these two formulas i hope so you really like this video make sure to like this video and share with your friends and make sure to subscribe my channel if you like this video and press the bell icon if you don't want to miss the any upcoming video. So I see you guys in next video.